you know, in the modern digital age, it just seems that service providers are getting hacked left and right. You know, digital espionage and outright thievery are commonplace. Do you even know where your data has been and who has a copy of it? If there was a mantra for the year 2020, it would be that you can't even trust yourself not to spread a virus, right? Now, it wasn't our intention to reflect this reality in a software project, but looking back, well, it seems like we kind of did just that. By finding a robust solution to the trade-offs of privacy and secrecy without forcing you to sacrifice either of them. Now, Stronghold is a system that works very hard at self-isolating. It's not just an encrypted database for storing high-value secrets, but also a secure runtime for using these secrets in a private manner that allows different platforms to talk to each other in a safe way. So right now, I'm going to give you a quick rundown. First, number one, Stronghold securely stores digital assets persistently in the snapshot. And now you have to think of the snapshot as basically a thing on your file system that helps a stronghold to set itself back up again. Now, the, the snapshot itself is not yet finished. It will, in the very near future, be error corrected, which means if something happens and it gets a small corruption, it might be able to fix itself, which is great because you don't want to lose your data and we're working really hard to make sure that doesn't happen. So assuming you have one of these snapshots, the second thing that happens is uh, that the snapshot gets imported into a vault and the vault is the memory storage. It's basically an encrypted database that lives in memory and allows you to write to records and delete records and that brings us to the third interesting part about Stronghold, and that is that it allows you to use these secrets without revealing them to the rest of the operating system or application in the thing we call the runtime. Now, the runtime basically forks the process and puts the thing that you just pulled out of the vault in there and lets you do things like create signatures from your private key or derive a, a, a new message. And this is important because we feel it's pivotal that you don't lose your data and that no one else can read it, right? So inside of the runtime, we've also imported a crate called CryptoRS that is a curated group of cryptographic primitives and algorithms that exist there as a kind of firewall between Stronghold and those implementations because there are things you don't want living in the debug zone and you don't want errors to be thrown and you just don't want bad things to happen. And this crate will be uh, audited and maintained and will be used by all of the entire foundation. It, like Stronghold itself, will also be available as not just bindings, uh, not just Rust, but also as bindings such as to Go and C and Java and so on. And now this is all great inside of your operating system, but sometimes you want to have your phone talk to your desktop and there's not really that many great ways to do that these days. So we've created a system called the communication layer that allows strongholds to talk to each other uh, using uh, the noise protocol, which is a type of ephemeral key encryption, and libp2p, which is the cutting edge of uh, peer communications. And finally, Strongholds will run on a wide variety of hardware. We can't guarantee it's going to run on everything, but obviously, you know, because of the fact it needs to run on for the wallet and uh, on the nodes, it's going to run on Linux and Mac OS and Windows and iOS and Android. 
and a few of those special devices out there such as the USB Armory and we're looking also into integrating with our very own CryptoCore. Um, as time goes on, we'll reach out to more and more uh, platforms for hardware, but we want to make sure we get it right the first time. So that was just a really quick summary of Stronghold and what it can do. And I guess all that remains to say is, you know, in a, in a world that is defined by keeping your distance, at the IOTA Foundation, we want to remind you that distance can be a beautiful thing. Be safe. Have fun. Take off. See you on the horizon.